I'm Jennifer Baker. I'm the creator of the Minorities in Publishing podcast, a contributor editor for Electric Lit, a long-term New Yorker, and also a production editor. So I was really glad that Lorraine asked me to come by and talk on the publishing panel specifically since I've been doing this for 16 years. So, yeah, 16 years. <laughs> and I'm in production, so I'm a line editor, and I work a lot to be able to help people gain more knowledge about the industry, to know that the information is out there, to know that underrepresented people are here. We may not be here in droves, but we're here, and we're trying to help each other get as much information as possible. I just want to encourage writers to look for opportunities as much as possible. I have friends who are constantly doing the hustle, so they're looking for grants, they're always looking for opportunities to get scholarships, they're going to conferences, all these other things, and I think people are so hesitant to actually pursue these opportunities because they don't think they're good enough, they think the application process is too arduous, but it's so important to really not what is, it, what is the term, kind of self-reject and really just push out there because there's money to be had. It may not be $800,000, it may be $2,000 in your state or city level grant. It might be $500 from a contest. It might be $500 and an emergency fund. There are actually grants that give artists emergency fund money. So these opportunities are out there. Places pay you, you should negotiate your rates. You should try to get as much as possible. And the worst thing that can happen is you may not get published in that specific area, but that doesn't mean your writing will never see the light of day. So I would encourage writers to just push for what you're worth and recognize what your worth is.